This is going to be the look that I'm going to try to recreate today. Uh, this, of course, is Selena Quintanilla Perez. She has been a super huge deal um, to me. I don't think she's ever gone away. But recently, when she did her uh, collaboration with Mac, or her family did a collaboration with Mac, um, to go ahead and honor her and the looks that she kind of went for. We've been hearing a lot more about her. So her look was very simple. It was very matte face, a bold a lips, bold brows, and so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm actually going to start off my look um, using my Benefit, let me see, the Benefit Cabral. I use this in number five, and I'm going to go ahead and start off um, sculpting my brows. I'm going to try to go ahead and kind of stay up here so that y'all can kind of, I always start off my brows on the bottom and, uh, I'm going to go a little bit more bold because her brows are definitely darker than mine are. Her brows to me are very similar to mine. So I feel like I'm just going to, I don't know if this is going to be a Selena look or just, I don't know, a natural me look. I have always, ever since I was a kid, loved dressing up for Halloween. I'm sure a lot of people, even that I'm super close to, don't know that about me. But I love, like, just dressing up for Halloween. I don't know. It's just fun. Like, I guess the little girl within still loves to get dressed up or you know just pretend to be somebody else for a little while so okay so i'm going to be really careful in showing you this because this is my 35k but i cracked one oh, so i'm going to go all the way to the end and use that color right there which is a hint darker than the brown i normally use Anyways, when I had heard that they were coming out with this, you know, at first you don't really know if it's just a rumor or what's going on. So I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. And um, so right away I was like, oh my gosh, I totally have to get, you know, I don't know, whatever I like out of that um, collection. And so I have been wanting to be Selena for a long time, like to dress up for Halloween. But I don't know, just never really felt right I guess and this year with the collection coming out and everything I was like okay this is my time to shine so I'm like we're just gonna do it so anyways um, but I don't know about y'all uh, I don't know if any of you got the collection but I was there y'all. I was like in the thick of it all. I was like online. I'm like, yes, I am going to get this. It's going to be awesome. I was looking not only for myself, but for family because, I, you know, birthdays and Christmas is coming up and nothing. Like I got nothing. I did not get a brush. I didn't get an eyeshadow. <sighs> I don't understand. Like, it was like the Kylie birthday collection all over again, you guys. I mean, like, I was there. I was online. I was on my phone, on my Mac, on my, you know, laptop, you know, because I was like, oh, we're going to get something. Nothing. <sighs> I don't really want to talk about it. But seriously, I don't want to talk about it. Um, but I didn't get anything like really I don't know how any of y'all get this stuff I'm just like you know I was like right there y'all those are some bold brows like ooh. can we talk about the boldness of these brows y'all I almost feel like I gotta go a little darker but I'm kind of like I don't know I'm gonna scare somebody be like girl seriously I'm gonna show up trying to be Selena and people are gonna think I'm just like being myself <laughs> I'm I'm myself in high school like guys when I was in high school like I was seeing did y'all see any of those like uh, high school like what how do you did your makeup in high school 
I did nothing in high school. I was lucky if I put on a little mascara and a little um, lip gloss. When I was like really feeling it, I would put on like powder because I always had like shine on my face. And that was about it. That was all about my sleep. I'm like, I'm not trying to get up early and do all that for what? And now, oh, I crave the days, crave the days where I could just like get up and just go out with nothing on my face, but no. I wouldn't do that to y'all, that'd be rude. Actually, y'all here are probably the only people that have ever seen me with a bare face. Yes, you are the privileged or unlucky few. I don't know. Depends on how you want to see that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the 350. Anyways, I'm going to use this. It's a flat shader brush. And I'm going to use this top color right here to... Actually, I'm going to use this second color down here. And I'm going to just use that all over, like, the lid. I didn't set those brows, but I probably should. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my, you know, clear brow gel by Anastasia. Look at that. Seriously, I'm having a flashback myself. The hoops and ooh. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a blending brush and I'm gonna go in with this color in the 350 and I'm just gonna do a little bit right here. Just gonna do a little in the crease. I keep thinking about the hair, like, do I cut my bangs? Do I not? Because I'm thinking that, you know, for tonight it's going to be like, oh yeah, it looks good. And then tomorrow I'm going to be like, girl, why did you do that? So I think it's safe to say that I hadn't made that decision yet. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So that's it. Now, the one thing that I do love is that she always had a wing, which, you know, me, I'm all about that wing life. So. I'm trying to make sure I'm not putting the mirror in front of y'all either. I don't know if any of you have tried this liner yet, but the only thing that I have that will wash it off is that my cellar water the waterproof one because nothing else will take that eyeliner off like I have taken a shower I have like really scrubbed my face and it does not come off so you know you've been warned <laughs> Okay, it's a lot of stress, but I think we're gonna do it. So now I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way, and I use the color Sand. 
So I'm gonna do one full pump of that and I'm gonna put it on with my Morphe, I don't know, it's this brush I always use, but just do one pump like that. I'm gonna go all over here. Now she had a very matte face, so and obviously we're going to do a little bit of contour just because I can't not, <laughs> but For the most part, I feel like I'm almost done. I'm going to go ahead and do some um, of my naked um, concealer. And I'm going to actually make it pretty wide. her nose and this picture to me looks a little bit wider than mine a little bit I'm gonna have to contour my nose a little bit which I never do so see how that goes Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's an e.l.f. contouring brush, but I want to definitely bake all this under the eyes. So I'm going to use my airspun. Yeah. I've been getting back into using this recently to bake. So I'm just going to. some on under here and then I'm going to use my Milani even touch powder in natural number three now go ahead and set the rest of my face I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that off already so now I'm going to use my Kat Von D shade and light and I am going to have to use a, hmm, I have no idea what kind, like, because I'm going to have to contour my nose a little bit. And I've never done that before, so I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this real thin brush. I'm just going to take this color and try to. Contour, let me see. My nose a little bit. Ah. know that I can contour my nose every day that's like this is stressful hmm no <laughs> okay so we're just gonna do a little bit because I can't not have any contour so I just used that same shade right there that I always use yeah, seriously, I feel like I'm just doing myself in high school. 
with a little bit more attention to the I'm doing myself in high school with a wing and actual makeup I'm telling you I did not put on any makeup like I'd never used liquid makeup to like seriously maybe a couple years ago That's enough. Guys, are y'all even getting this vibe or no? It'll come alive in a minute, I promise. Like that on. It'll come alive. Just hold on. I know some of y'all are like, girl, we don't see anything. Just wait. Just be patient. It will come. All right. The biggest part to me that I think is going to really make everything else kind of come alive is going to be the um, lips. I'm going to put a little something on there first. And I actually have to go and get the lip liners. Actually, let's go ahead and put on some lashes. Ones that I always do, the Demi Wispies by Ardell. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those on real quick. Give it a little shake. Now, for those of you who do not know how to put on um, false lashes, they're actually, it's really easy to do. But we get so hung up on... Um, we put on like a little bit of lash glue and we just want to stick them on right away. You can't do that because that's when they start moving all over the place and that's a lot of the time our problem. So I usually don't put them on either like facing yourself like this. Do it more at you know, that ugly angle that you know we all hate. But when you're looking downwards, it's going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to, let me zoom you in real quick. Once it gets tacky, it's just going to stick, like, just like that. So, now I just take my tweezers and I put them on the very tip, on the very edge of my natural lash line. I'm not squeezing my lashes, I'm just holding the lash and pushing it in. And then, when I feel like I got it in a good place, I use a tweezer and squeeze my false lashes to my real ones. So there we are. Ta -da. We're good to go. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my carbon black. I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit. Like sometimes when you're like not all the way ready and you run to work or something and um, you run into somebody like you know in the morning or whatever and they're trying to talk to you this is seriously sometimes I've done this you know before you actually like are on the clock if you will and they're like okay I can't talk to you when you're doing that because I don't need a mirror Ta -da! okay so now we got to work on the lips but I need a lip liner so I'll be right back so now I'm actually going to be seeing which lip liner is going to go better I'm looking at Jordana either plush plum or Cabernet and those are the two swatches I have and we're gonna try Cabernet and see but I think we might need to combine them both I don't know so I'm gonna try to overline them because like, clearly we're looking at her lips and mine she has nice big lips and I well mine are not that big so but I JLo it a little bit
So, you know, it's just foam all in. I might have to get resourceful. Hold on. Okay, so I just got this Jouer lip cream. And it's like a beautiful, deep, blue base red. So let's see if it'll work. Oh, no. It's a liquid lip, so. And it's one of those, like, really... Like a, a true liquid lip, which I don't really care for because I feel like I can't talk. There are some people... They swear by the liquid lip, but I can't. I just like, I don't know, I can't. What do you think, how does it look? I haven't really looked at it. So that'll dry up, I'm sure. So there is mm, my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. And I actually um, have some extensions that I um, I'm gonna cut to try to give myself a bang. So wish me luck. All right, guys, so here is my finished um, look. I went ahead and decided to do uh, the lip color combination that was a Jordana lip liner in the color Cabernet. Um, also, I decided to do the Jouer uh, lip cream in Cabernet as well. And over top, I did a Velvet Matte Victoria's Secret lip stain in the color Drama. So those three colors were the uh, color combination that created this look here. I decided to not cut my bangs. Um, so I went ahead and just got a strip of extensions and cut them down to size. And as far as my outfit, I actually just bought this top uh, from the Forever 21 website. Um, and it has the little ruffled at the uh, tip at the end of the sleeves and this jacket I actually just recently picked up at TJ Maxx so I'm actually very happy with the way the look came out um, this was the uh, inspiration that I was pulling from so this is from her uh, album cover Amo Prohido and so I think I did the best that I could trying to um, emulate her for sure. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for uh, coming back to my channel and uh, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you uh, are not on a mobile device, you can go ahead and hit the little bell and it'll give you notifications every single time I do an upload. Um, so thank you so much for watching me. Um, if you decide to go out, I hope you have a very safe and happy Halloween and um, give this video a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed it. So thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.